Uh, what did you have you got it, Pete? No, mate, I've not. I can't figure that bit out. I'm stuck on that bit. I got B is minus 0.03. But I don't think that's right. No, I've not done that bit. I'm still at the point of let what, 20 let, yeah. 0.01 s equals zero. I'm not really sure what step to take after that. No. Oh, yeah, Peter, what I remember. What, mate? Omar's lesson hasn't got a password. Just put the number in. Okay, cool. So, so how far have you got? I've got to the bit to minus 2,000. What have you got there? I've got, I got B, because you have to do B equals 60 over minus 2,000. That equals minus 0.03, but I don't know if that's right. Hold on, I've lost it. What have I... So S equals. Because after minus. you've done that, Dan, you've got to do that bottom bit, haven't you? Let me see. Yeah. That, that bit at the bottom. 20, didn't you mean 60? Yeah, that's the old one, that is. So, so that would be 60. Over minus 2,000. 60 equals zero plus B minus 2,000. Yeah. Therefore. B equals 60 over minus 2,000, which is minus 0 0.03. But that doesn't seem right. I don't know. Why? I suppose it would be zero there, isn't it? I'm just listening in at the moment because you're doing some good work. Carry on. <laughs> no, so I got right to the point. Mike? I'm still at the point of let, let 20 plus 0.01 s equals zero. I'm stuck at that point. Okay. Yeah, so you need to... What I'm, on this. What, I'm, what I'm hearing, right, is correct. What, <coughs> what I've heard so far, you've got um, B, A equals to three, yeah? yeah? Yeah, A equals three, yeah. You've got, when you let 20 plus 0.01 S equals zero, you end up with S equal and Martin's 2,000. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so have you got that far, Peter? No, that's the bit where I couldn't figure out how to calculate them until they get to the minus 2,000. Okay. I start confusing myself. I'll just, just, I'm going to let you go back and carry on with it in a minute, right? Because that's important. I'll just do that, redo that little bit for you so you understand where that comes from, hopefully. So you, what you're doing is saying we're going to let... Um, 0.1, sorry, let 20 plus 0.01s equal yeah. zero. Yeah? Yeah. So we want to find out what s is so we can plug that back into the um, right-hand numerator, yeah? Yeah. So we need, to, we need to take 20 from both sides so we can say 0.01s is equal to minus 20. Yeah? Right. Follow that? Yeah. Yeah. And then if we divide through by 0 0.01, we get S is equal to minus 20 over 0 0.01. Yeah. Or well, if we right. divide 20 by 100, we get minus 2,000. Right. Okay. Plug it, put, put it in your calculator if, you, if you're unsure and you can't do it in your head. No, 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 that's fine. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to let you carry on now because you're all on the right kind of track. You're just a little bit stuck in a different place. How you been? Have you been communicating with each other while I've been off? Yeah, we yeah. use FaceTime on uh, Facebook. Okay. So you can get, so, um, you can get I eight, mean, eight, eight people on that. Yeah, okay, because, I mean, if... If if they had the license and I didn't have to keep stopping the rooms, we could I could just leave it on and let you get on with it. But um, yeah. unfortunately, I have to keep closing the rooms up. But we'll hopefully we'll get that sorted. Sounds quite know. Fun, anyway. I'll let you carry on. Right.
So now it'll be 60 over... 60 over minus 2,000. 60 no. over S, um, 20 plus... Oh, hang on. Peter's, Peter's not up with us, Dan. All right, get to the minus 0 0.03 then, Peter. So you got, Peter, you got B equals 60 over minus 2,000, yeah? Yeah. And what does that yeah, equal? Yeah, that equals minus 0.03. Minus 0.03. Okay, yeah. And then we can move on to the next bit. Now. You put it back into your fraction, don't you? Yeah, so that'd be 60 over S bracket 20 times 0.01. Hold on, bro. Speak a bit slower. What was that? That'd be 60. Yeah. Um, uh, divided by S bracket. Yeah. 20 times 0.01 S. Yeah. And then I got equals, and then you put three in replacement of A, so that'd be three over S. Right, yeah. And then minus 0.03 over 20 plus 0.01 S. So what did you get, sorry? Um, I've got three That's over S. The next step is yeah. I've put 60 over S brackets 20 plus. 0.01s. Yeah, plus not times, yeah. Yeah. We've got to divide then, by 0.01, yeah. Would that be 60 over s? Hey, and what are you doing that Minus 0.3, over... Yeah, that's not necessary. Do we not got to divide 10 over... No. Hang on, Dan, hang on. Over 20 plus 0.01. No. S. And then to get our S on its own, we You don't want to get S on its own, do you? Yeah, yeah but the next, the next step from where we got the not, minus 0 0.03 is get S on its own. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, you are right. Sorry. Yeah, this is where I'm, I'm gone. Yeah, we might have to have Mike help us on this bit when he gets to it. What's 20 divided by 0 0.01? 2,000 again? Yeah. Yeah. Well, what's... Yeah, now, we're now, Mike's now... Divided by 0 0.01. Here, and Mike's now writing up the bit we're at. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Let's do that. <clears throat> so we've let my catch up and then we can. Tell me when I get to the bit where you're stuck. Well, we've just done a bit with the values of A and B, Mike. And then there's the bit after that. So you've done all this bit I'm doing now, yeah? Yeah. So that's that's back to the common denominator. So we'll, um, we can say let S equals zero. And therefore we can say um, 60 is equal to I times 20. Therefore, I is equal to three. Yeah. yeah. Let um, 20 plus 0.01 S equal zero. Yeah. Therefore, 0.01 S is equal to minus 20 S is minus 2,000. You got that far, yeah? Oh, yeah. yeah? Yeah. So then we have to put that, so we can then say 60 is equal to minus 2,000 B, because the A term disappears, because we set that equal to zero. Yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, 
B equals minus uh, 60. Right. Over minus 2,000. 60 over minus 2,000, yeah. Yeah. Equals minus 0 0.03. Yep. Did you get that far? Yeah. 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 Yep. New page for me. So we can now uh, kind of cut and steps out a little bit. We can say I of S is equal to B. So we put them back in partial fractions. Sorry, A is three over S. And then B is minus 0 0.3. 03 divided by 20 plus 0.01s. Did he get that far? Yeah. 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 Do you know what you do, what to do next? No. We want to get S on its own. So how can we get S on its own? Move the three across. So that would be three would it be what three? we want to do if you divide by 0 0.01 you're going to get s on its own <clears throat> because, right, yeah. because the 0.01 divided by 0 0.01 cancels out yeah yeah okay. so if we do that we can yeah. say s equal to three over s Minus point oh point oh three divided by point oh one is three. We almost know by now. We've done enough of these to know that the, the when you have finished, the numerators must end up the same. Ah, uh, right. Yeah. 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 And twenty divided by point oh one is two thousand. Yeah. Plus S. Yeah. We've now got two expressions that look like something in a table. So we've now got I of T is equal to three. That's 2000 plus S. Yeah. Three minus three B e to the minus 2000 T which can be better written as three, one, minus three, minus E to the minus 2000 T, long time constant. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah? Excuse me. Yeah. So although yeah. You, you thought you thought you weren't right because because you were looking at the value of B being um, a, a, a low negative number, but that's only happened yeah. because we were working with Henry values of inductance, and now we've got like a hundredth of a Henry. Yeah. 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 So that's why that's why the numbers started to look a bit weird. Yeah. And if you break. Certainly, if you bring microfarads into the capacitor circuits, you're going to get some tricky numbers to deal with as well. You just have to yeah. kind of work with it. All right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I was intending to do um, what's called a ramp input into, um, I think it's an RL circuit or an RC circuit today, but we've, we've kind of run out of time with that. So we won't do that now, we'll do that next week. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. So we'll call it a day there. And yeah. I will see speak to you all um all being well next Wednesday. Yeah. Right. So oh, uh, we just sent another email yeah. off email. I think yeah, we're gonna do it. Looks like we're doing it on Brightspace now. Well, he wanted to look at that and I, I the thing is, 
I don't want to use two systems. I have to use yeah. this one with the eight with the HNC guys because they I've got mixed groups. Some of them are apprentices and they're not university students, so they can't get the bright space. Yeah, so I'm, yeah. Not, I'm not keen on learning two systems. Yeah, that's. I was a bit. He's changed his mind by the looks of it. I shall be sticking yeah. with this one. All right. Yeah. Okay. okay. I'll see you next we're week. We're going bright space yeah. with email then. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but looks it. You should have an email. No, Just right, flagged up on the phone. Thanks, All right, boys. See you next time. Bye. 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 Bye.